Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. It says two soda bottles together contain 11 times as much beverage as a can of soda. If each soda bottle contains 1.8 liters of beverage, how much beverage in milliliters does each can of soda contain? So what we are given is we are given two soda bottles which are 1.8 liters each okay so this is one bottle of soda okay which is 1.8 liters and this is one more soda bottle which is also 1.8 liters so this is soda bottle okay soda bottles and this is 1.8 liters one block is 1.8 liters Let's also put some color in this. Let's say it's blue in color. Okay, so, the, so both of these are blue because they are identical. All right, then what we have is that two soda bottles together, they contain 11 times as much beverage as a can of soda. Now what this means is that if you take these two soda bottles, you take this one and this one, both these soda bottles, and you empty them into say a pitcher or something, okay, you take these two bottles of soda and you empty them into a pitcher, and then you use that beverage in the pitcher to fill up cans of soda, then it's saying that you'll be able to fill 11 cans of soda with that much beverage. So this is 1.8 liters and this is 1.8 liters. So together 2 times 1.8 liters can fill 11 cans of soda. So if I have the same amount of liquid as the soda bottles together, okay, from here all the way to here, okay, this whole block then I can distribute this much beverage into 11 cans of soda. So there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 cans of soda. And these are soda cans. Okay, and let's color them purple. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 cans. So we'll be able to fill up 11 cans of soda with the same amount of beverage as two 1.8 liter bottles of soda. Okay, so this is understood. Now, what do we have to find out? Well, what we have to find out is how much beverage does each can of soda contain? All right, so what we have to find out is how much is this guy equal to in milliliters? Okay, this is in liters. Remember that this guy, the blue guy, is given in liters, and we have to find the answer in milliliters. So, since we have to find out the answer in milliliters, how about we convert everything to milliliters first? Okay, so how about we convert this 1.8 liters to milliliters? So, 1.8 liters, how much is that equal to in milliliters? Well, 1 liter, okay, 1 liter we know is equal to 1000 milliliters. Okay, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters, then 1.8 liters, okay, L is for liters, then 1.8 liters would be equal to 1.8 times 1000, right? 1.8 times 1000 milliliters, and that's equal to the decimal point shifted three places to the right. So, that means 1.8 zero zero because this is zero and this is also zero so one eight zero zero point zero milliliters and one eight zero zero point zero milliliters is actually the same as one thousand and eight hundred milliliters all we did was got rid of this zero after the decimal point all right so one point eight liters is equal to one thousand and eight hundred milliliters which means that this guy is equal to one thousand and eight hundred milliliters and so is this guy Right, this guy is also equal to 1,800 milliliters. So, how much beverage can two soda bottles contain in milliliters? Two soda bottles means two times 1,800 milliliters. And that's equal to, well, 1,800 times 2, 2,020, 2, 8 is 16, 1 here, 2, 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So, 2 times 1,800 milliliters is equal to 3,600 milliliters. So together, these two blue guys are equal to 3,600 milliliters. 
Now we know that 3,600 milliliters of beverage is used to fill 11 cans of soda, which means the 3,600 milliliters of beverage is divided among 11 cans of soda. So it's 3,600 milliliters divided by 11. And that gives you how much milk? Let's use a calculator for that. So we have 3,600 divided by 11. And that's equal to 327.272727. Well, it's an endless series of decimal places. So how about we just drop all these decimal places and round it off to the nearest milliliter? So it's 327.27. Let me write that down, okay? So it's 327.27727, this endless series. Okay, this is in milliliter. So what we're going to do is we're going to round it off to the nearest milliliter. So we'll drop all these decimal places. And since the first decimal place is less than 5, it means that we keep this number 327 unchanged. So this is nearly equal to 327 milliliters. All right, so that's your answer that each can of soda, this guy is equal to 327. 27 milliliters. All right, that's uh, all that there is to this word problem. I hope you understood this word problem and I hope that now you'll go and practice some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.